Hello, this is Gene Warren from Idaho State University's College of Technology Business Technology Program. This session will be talking about travel arrangements. If you would like to learn more information about how to do travel arrangements, please contact the Business Technology Program at ISU's College of Technology. Uh, this session will be talking about travel arrangements and how to successfully get those arrangements made and some of the things you need to worry about uh, if you're going to be a traveler. You'll find out that um, uh, teleconferences uh, are a lot cheaper than going on the travel itself. A lot of the companies now are doing teleconferences to save a lot of travel money. Sometimes you just do some local travel or even just uh, nearby travel uh, using a plane or whatever, a car, it's anywhere from a thousand to two thousand to three thousand dollars every time you go on a trip. So a lot of companies now are investing in the technology to do teleconferencing. This is where people are meeting in different locations using the tele telecommunication equipment, usually usually your computers or telephones or something. Uh, it's an alternate to the really expense of doing some traveling. You will save a lot of money if you're able to do some teleconferencing. But sometimes um, travel, you, d you just have to do it. Uh, so hopefully this uh, session today will we'll discuss uh, some of the things you need to uh, do as you make these travel arrangements. Uh, also, the, um, you can do it by uh, webinars. Some of the teleconferences are webinars, which is your uh, computer system. Uh, you will uh, get into some website, and sometimes you can view it live or it would be recorded. Sometimes there's a video conference uh, where everybody is uh, connected on the internet somehow uh, or through some other type of system and you, you are able to see the person who's given the presentation. Everybody can respond to questions. Uh, they'll have a microphone set up somehow. Uh, or you can just phone into some type of a uh, teleconference. Uh, using the telephone, you would dial up a certain phone number put in a code, and then you'll be connected with everybody in the party. It could be from just a few people to several hundred people, but everybody can hear and respond. Uh, so air travel. Uh, you definitely need to make uh, reservations for air travel uh, way in advance. There are several ways that you can do this. Um, you can go to the travel agencies by phone or uh, on a, by visiting them. The travel agencies will have sometimes some really good deals. Uh, they can book uh, the flights for you or even sometimes get the hotel rooms. There's also a lot of online travel sites that you can uh, go to uh, online or by the phone and uh, get your travel plans or travel tickets that way uh, for your flights. Um, you're, if you do uh, use the plane, you need to arrive at the airport at least two hours before the flight time. This will give you some time to go through the checkout system, uh, go through the bag searches, you can uh, just wait in line. It seems like there's a lot of lines going on through the security system. Uh, check in your baggage. Uh, so you need to give yourself plenty of time uh, at the airport. Uh, some other forms of travel, you can do some rental cars. Uh, your, uh, they're usually available at the airports. You can get those at a local uh, rental store that's, that's in, your, in your town. A lot of times your company will have some type of rental vehicles that you can use, uh, but prices really vary according to the different size of car that you get uh, and the, the miles that you are driving. So it all depends. So there's a lot of different ways you can get a rental car, or you, of course you can take your own vehicle and be charged uh, and get, get mileage, uh, be paid for mileage on those. Uh, some areas have trains available. Uh, they're available in many, many states. Sometimes it's more economical to do it that way uh, than taking a vehicle. Hotel accommodations. Uh, of course, that's required if you are going to be overnight and some type of a business trip. You definitely need to make your reservations in advance, especially if it's a conference where there's lots of people at the same place at the same time. Uh, so make your reservations several months in advance if you can. Um, you can also go through different travel agencies to get that uh, your hotel reservations. Uh, you can go to the websites themselves uh, from the hotels. A lot of times you just go telephone them directly with some kind of a, an 1-800 number. That way you can book your, your uh, advanced uh, hotel arrangements. 
uh, they'll take a credit card just to hold the room and you usually don't have to pay for anything until after uh, your stay is, has been completed. Uh, the itinerary, that is really the detailed plan of the trip. Uh, if you're putting it together for someone else or putting it together for yourself, uh, it is a detailed list of all of the activities that are going on for that travel. Uh, when your plane is leaving, uh, when it, you're being picked up, maybe by who are you going to be picked up by, uh, how are you going to get to the hotel or to the meeting, what time are the meetings, who you're supposed to go to for lunches and dinners and breakfasts. Uh, so everything should be detailed out on that. Uh, it'll include your travel arrangements, your meeting schedules, who you're meeting with, uh, different appointments, reservations, and also some other special arrangements or uh, instructions that you might need to have during that travel period. So whether you're doing it for yourself or putting these things together for someone else, the itinerary is very, very handy. Uh, the person who's doing the traveling and have to go to the meetings, sometimes they're just too busy thinking about the meetings themselves and forgetting what they need to do when. Here's a sample of an itinerary. Uh, you see that it's broken down by day. You could have several sheets of these. It's also broken down by the time, how long the meeting is. More importantly, is what the event is. And maybe the people who you, you are to meet, uh, where the event is, where you need to go, when do you need to pick up your the taxi or, the, or your uh, drive somewhere. A uh, closer look at this, um, you can see where the times are, uh, the duration of the different areas, uh, what's happening, when. So really, this itinerary is a very good thing to have, uh, especially if it's a long drawn out type of, of meeting throughout the day, a couple of days, a week. Um, have it spelled out what you need to do at what time. That way nothing will be missed. Other support items that are really good uh, to have uh, with you to put together. Uh, the travel tickets, of course, all of your documentation to get on your flight or the bus or the train different passports if you're going international. Sometimes they require health documents, a visa. Uh, confirmations and different arrangements, all your confirmations for flights, hotel rooms, uh, maybe your meal plans, whatever it might be, you'll have them all together. Uh, different maps and directions that you would have together. Uh, where do you find this particular ho uh, hotel? Where, where do you find this this restaurant, uh, who you're supposed to meet, what their phone number or contact information is. Do you have to do a speech? Uh, are you doing a webinar? Are you doing some type of other meeting? Uh, do you have all your reports together? Uh, do you have all your uh, the documentation? Do you have any uh, any equipment needs? Are you taking all your laptops? Do you have the, uh, the cords? Is it uh, Are all of your things uh, charged? Does it have power? All of these things you need to be concerned with because it would be really bad if you went to these meetings and had to present or do something and you are ill-prepared. That does not look good to you or your company who you are representing. All of these things, most of these things, can be put into some type of a folder, a travel folder. This will contain all of that information the different details about the trip. Whatever you put into this particular folder, manila folder or packet of some kind, I would certainly keep a copy of it back at the office and uh, with someone. In case you lose yours, you will have everything already copied and that they could send it to you or photograph it, send it you know, via text message or something. Uh, so have a couple copies of this. This will have all of your support items in here that we talked about earlier. Uh, it would also have your hotel reservations inside there, meal reservations, travel tickets, airline or train, different appointments and meeting schedules, uh, who you're meeting with, um, a list of all the equipment for the trip. That's also another good one. If you're taking several items uh, on the trip, laptops, uh, projectors, uh, software, whatever it might be, you might want to list those down, uh, especially if you're in a meeting for several uh, days uh, and it's all scattered throughout your hotel room or your vehicle, your rental car, you need to make sure that they're all gathered up, that you're not leaving anything behind. So take a quick inventory of what you have before you leave. Some travel etiquette. Uh, make sure you're on time for all your appointments, especially your meal appointments with clients or whatever, whoever you're going with. Avoid any offensive body language and gestures. Uh, just because you're 
uh, from one particular state that has some obvious uh, things that we do and say it may not be appropriate for somebody in, the, in another state or another country. Uh, it's always good etiquette to uh, taste any food that's offered by the host. Uh, when the time feels right, you have to be careful, uh, but you also don't want to be uh, standoffish if somebody's offering you something, unless it's something that uh, you definitely don't want. Uh, just politely, you know, say thank you, but no thank you. Um, as a host, if you're being a host to a particular meal or something, if you can, it's always good to pay for those meals for, the, for those who you are, are around your table. Uh, who you have invited. Um, dressing uh, for the travel. Uh, you have uh, many different types of meetings. Uh, if you are uh, at a very business type meeting, uh, you want to dress appropriately for that. Of course, if you're out into the field or something, out, in, out into the dirt, you just certainly don't want to wear a, a tie. Find out uh, what everybody else is wearing and maybe you can be the same. But if it's a business meeting, you want to dress appropriately. Uh, if you are traveling like on an airplane and you're just going directly to your hotel, then you can probably dress fairly casual. But if one of the business people are picking you up, you might want to dress a little bit more appropriate so that we'll have a good impression. And that's the thing. Remember that your dress really creates an impression on the people that you meet. Uh, make sure you dress appropriately, whether you need to wear a tie or skirt if you're a female, whatever. You need to address appropriately to give them that good impression. Some different safety tips that you need to worry about as you do travel. Uh, you might, especially if you're driving, you want to uh, check out the road situation. Uh, is everything okay? Uh, is there any uh, road work that's going to hinder your time? Uh, check out the flight schedules. Are there any storms? Uh, don't leave any bags unattended or carry anything for anyone else besides your things. Unless, of course, you have a travel partner. But if a stranger comes up to you, do not accept any baggages or anything from them. Keep your passport and money in a very safe place. Have it locked away. Have it hidden. Uh, don't flash it around. Keep your purses with you. Keep your wallets closed. Uh, use a locking device in your hotel room. Most of the hotel rooms now... Uh, we'll have some type of a small safe or something. Use those, especially if you're going to be out for most of the day. Do not leave any valuables in the car. Uh, especially if you have to leave them in there, put them in the trunk. Keep them out of sight. Put a blanket over them. Put a, a coat, pillow, something over those so no one can see. Be aware of your surroundings. Always watch out. Um, keep, a, keep an eye out around you. You don't know... Uh, whether you have a robber walking next to you or someone who's going to assault you, uh, a lot of the folks who are uh, dressed up fairly nicely, they're, they're a prime target for thieves. They might think you have a lot of money with you, whether you do or you don't. Uh, you always want to just watch around and, and keep in a group if you can. Protect your credit cards and your telephone card numbers. All, keep all those safe. Uh, don't leave them laying around. Uh, make sure uh, when you're using some of these things, you don't have people watching over your shoulder. Uh, just be aware of those things around you. Some uh, after travel activities. Uh, when you come back after your travel, um, you need to make sure that your inventory and all those things before you leave the hotel room, uh, make sure that those that little inventory list that you completed, everything's on there, that you're not leaving anything behind. When you do report back to work, usually you'll have to create some type of document. Uh, you need to document everything as you are on this travel adventure. Uh, all the receipts, everything. It's better to throw something in the way that you don't need to have uh, than do not have it if you do need it. Uh, there's some, usually some type of expense reports that you have to fill out, meeting reports, uh, but basically it, it's, it's all included on some type of a, a reimbursement form. Uh, some things you pay for out of your pocket, and that's where you need to have the receipts for the, the dates, the times, the different activities, whatever it might be, you'll need to fill out one of these uh, reimbursement forms and then turn it into the office so that way you can get paid back. Uh, that is uh, the end of this particular session. Um, I, I hope that you learned something about travel and travel arrangements, uh, and I thank you for watching.